Hi there, and welcome to CoinRoll's 14th Strategy of the Week video. Again, the format of this week's video will be slightly different in that it's being streamed live on Twitch. Uh, the recording of the live stream will be uploaded on YouTube afterwards, so if you're watching the recording on YouTube, be sure to join our Discord community so you know when the next live stream is. You know, this grants you the opportunity to ask any questions that you may have on the strategy in real time and allows me to answer them as well. So it's really best for both of us if you join us live. However, I obviously know that's not possible all the time due to work commitments, differences in time zones, and so on. Hence, if that's the case, then you can just watch the recording on YouTube like you're likely doing now. Okay, so let's get started. This week's strategy is focused on shorting when the Bollinger Bands are above the price. As the name suggests, the strategy will play heavily on Bollinger Bands to find entries for short positions. It will also use the Bollinger Bands to provide appropriate signals of when to exit positions. The strategy also has an RSI component of both the entry and exit conditions. The strategy will not require TradingView signals and is available as a template on CoinRule, meaning that it will be extremely easy to set up and start running. We do also have the associated script for the strategy available on TradingView, so if you want to backtest it, you'll be able to do that. I'll show you how to do that later. Remember, the strategy is focused on shorting, so it will work best on our leveraged exchanges where you can trade futures. However, you could also run the strategy on spot to sell coins that you own and buy them back at lower prices. Okay, so let's first discuss the indicators that we're going to use. So let's come to trading view here. Um, so the Bollinger Bands are among the most famously and widely used indicators. These are the Bollinger Bands here, just overlaid over the chart. A uh, Bollinger Band is a technical analysis tool defined by a set of trend lines plotted two standard deviations, positive and negatively, up here and down here, away from a simple moving average of the asset's price, which is this orange line here. Uh, they can suggest when an asset is oversold or overbought in the short term, thus indicating the best time for buying and selling it. When the price continually touches the upper Bollinger Band, it can create an overbought signal, up here, which is uh, i.e. an entry for a potential sort position, position. Um, while well, continuously touching the lower band indicates an oversold condition, um, i.e. a potential long entry or an entry for a short position, sorry, an exit for a short position. You can see here when the price dipped under the lower Bollinger Band, then rapidly appreciated in price. So this would have been a good entry to go long. And alternatively up here, it would have been a good time to go short. Excellent. So uh, next, let's discuss the relative strength index. Uh, this is obviously one of the most common indicators used in technical analysis, and it is a momentum indicator. It essentially measures the speed and magnitude of um, an asset's uh, recent price changes to evaluate oversold or undervalued conditions in the price of that asset. Um, the RSI can do more than point to an overbought. Sorry, the RSI can do more than point to overbought and oversold securities. It also indicates securities primed for a trend reversal or a corrective pullback in price. It can signal when to buy and sell, essentially. Traditionally, an RSI reading of 70 or above, up here, uh, indicates an overbought condition, while an R reading of 30 or below indicates an oversold condition, just down here. Excellent. So, let's now discuss the entry conditions of the strategy. Um, so, to enter positions, the strategy looks for all of the following conditions to be met. First is that the closing price is greater than the upper standard deviation of the Bollinger Bands. Remember, this is an overbought signal, which indicates a good potential entry for a short position. So just like this here. Um, the next entry condition relies on the RSI to be below 70. Uh, this might seem as somewhat of a counterintuitive condition. However, I've tested it with the RSI being above 70, and the strategy performs better when it's below 70. So I'll show you a quick example of these conditions on the chart. Uh, so you can see here, the RSI here is below 70, just here, just below 70, and it just closed above the upper Bollinger Band, just here. So all the conditions were met, and we appropriately entered a short position. So uh, yeah, and now we'll go over the exit conditions. Okay, now, so to exit, uh, the strategy looks for two conditions to be met simultaneously. Uh, the first is that the lower standard deviation of the Bollinger Bands is less than the closing price, just like this example here. Uh, remember that this is a, an oversold condition, meaning this generally marks a good point to exit a short position as the coin could be primed for a trend reversal. Uh, the second condition again relies on the RSI being below 70, which is just the exact same thing here. So it's the exact same as our entry condition and our exit condition, both require the RSI to be below 70. 
cool. So now we've discussed the entry and exit conditions, let's take a look at back testing. Uh, if you remember earlier, I told you the script is available on our trading view profile, which is um, this one here. Um, this is it here. So what you want to do is come down, scroll down and click add to your favorite indicators. Just down here and then come to the chart you wish it to run on. And um, then you click indicators up here and you just type it in here. I've already done it. So just type shorting when Bollinger Bands are below price and it'll show up. Click on it and it's added to the chart. I've already done it, but you get the idea. And then you'll see you're getting some back testing data here. So um, this data is for XRP on the two hour time frame. Uh, you can see within nine trades, it performed pretty well with 96% net profit. 55% of trades being profitable and a max drawdown of 25.71%. Uh, which is rather good, I think. That's good, some good performance. Uh, this back testing data is also from the start of 2022. So it assumes uh, the, this, this, uh, this essentially implies that this strategy performs well in the bear market. A uh, trading fee of 0.1% is also applied, which is aligned to the base fee applied to Binance, which is the largest cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency exchange by volume. You'll see here, once you change these figures up here, uh, the, once they change the time frame, for example, you can see that the net profit changes. And if you change the pairing as well, it will also change. So we, let's try Bitcoin, for example. Okay, you see here, 56. 36. So essentially, you can play around with a range of these um, time frames and coins until you find one that works really well. I'm happy with XRP on the two hour time frame, which is what we looked at initially. But I performed very well. You know, it was 96% net profit, I believe, wasn't it? So that's, yep, 96% net profit. So I'm more than happy with that. So to run this, it's super, super easy. Just come to Coin Rule, create a new rule, select your exchange, click templates, and then just search for up here. So shorting. Oops, sorry when Bollinger Band above price with RSI. You see here, you'll get a description of the, the uh, strategy here. Click select and it's added to your rule. So um, I, instead of using any coin operator, I'm going to have this just run on XRP because uh, as we saw it perform well. However, if you wanted this rule to trigger much more regularly, you could use a bundle. Um, for example, the top 10 market cap coins, you could have it run across all of them or you could just use any coins, which will scan any coin in the market to find the uh, appropriate entry and exit conditions. So, um, I'm gonna use a time frame of one hour because as we saw, that performed very well. So, if any coin has Bollinger Band upper band greater than price in a time frame of one hour, and that coin has RSI lower than 70 in a time frame of one hour, remember these are our entry conditions, then I want to sell 100% of my balance of that coin to my USDT wallet as a limit order. And then you'll see here's our exit conditions here. So, and I'm, I'm also going to use a one hour time frame. And I want to buy, I'm changing this to percent. I'm going to buy 100% of the amount sold that coin to my USDT wallet as a limit order. I want to execute 100 times in total. And I'm just going to keep the default name here, which is shorting when Bollinger Bands are above price with RSI. Click launch, you'll see you get a little preview here. And click launch demo, and you're live. So, thank you very much for listening to the Strategy of the Week video. Please reach out if you've got any questions. Yeah, really excited to see what you create. Thank you very much.